Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking on Devonbot. Oh, don't, don't look at this. This was uh, this was last video. I think I'm going to upload that because it was quite an interesting game, actually. Uh, we got into a tricky end game last time and Devon actually beat me, but I was messing around with like the grob or the birds opening at the, at the beginning. It was like I smashed open my king side and uh, yeah, got a weird position, but my thinking was it's an adaptive bot and if you play bad, they'll adapt down to your level. <laughs> but I'm actually just going to play well this time and show no mercy to this, this bot uh, after that embarrassing defeat. So we don't want to take the Queen's Gambit. I normally play this. And if they take, we like it. We don't have to take back. We can just go like this, develop. And then take it at our own leisure. So we can throw this in because this hits the Queen. Uh, we actually like throwing this move in because if we if we just take with the queen here, guys, uh, we get hit with this this knight nonetheless, and we lose some temper. So that's why I wanted to take this with the with the knight. So yeah, this looks like a scary fork, but it's not because we just take this, hit the queen. But now they do have a big pawn center. To be fair, um, yeah, they do. But we're fine. We've got a flat structure, but we're, we're certainly not bad. So now this. Trying to get the dark square bishop out. Um, it does lack some activity, this bishop. It's my only problem. Uh, these, these pawns are doing a good job. Uh, so just this. What if they take here? We just take this. But then they come in with check. Hmm. Uh, have we got any checks? No. What can we do? Ah. So which bishop do we take? If this, they come in with check. We don't like it. But we can block here. I think it's fine. If we take this, they come in with check, and that's awkward because then we've got to run the king around. So I think we've got to take this bishop. It's too powerful. And block with a queen like that. Don't think there's anything else, but might be mistaken. So here, trying to deflect the defender of the, the key piece here. This doesn't work. Let's try that. So now I'm looking at this, but then takes, yeah, because if takes, we just take the bishop, and if takes with the bishop, then we get the bishop for free, right? Hit the queen, seems good. Now we get the bishop, and now we just up material. Uh, are there any threats? I don't think so. Yeah, so now this, but then if here. We take, they take, and win both our rooks, so that this pawn is actually a bit of a threat. <sighs> so if we take, we get a horrible looking king, but we are... I thought we were up material here, we're not. Also, we've got a hanging rook. Ugh, we've got a few problems. Can we throw in a check to resolve our issues? That would be nice, wouldn't it? So what about this, threatening that? But then they just take our rook first with check. So I don't think we can counterattack. I think we've got to defend. So if this and they take, then we just go here to stop the pawn. Stops this threat on the rook. What if this we just took? Uh, so that's annoying. So here, pinning the pawn to the king, threatening to take. Uh, also putting more pressure on this. If takes, we go here. What if this? No, we had this square sufficiently covered. Uh, so now I want to connect the rooks. I also want to win this pawn. So maybe I just go here. 
Putting more pressure on this pawn would be nice as well. This and maybe this, but if they castle now, it's now a threat on taking this piece. And also we've got alignment issues with our queen. Uh, queen and king being on the same file, so a rook coming here would be dangerous. <sighs> so if this, they take, we take. They take, we take, then they get the bishop. Ugh. I think we've got to move the bishop to be safe. Back. But I want to put pressure on this pawn. Ugh. Bit awkward, this. I don't know. Here? He says questioningly. Uh, not very reassuring, I know, guys. We're going we're gonna to work this one out. Uh, I'm a bit flummoxed after that last game with Devon where he... He had that nice end game against us, but so we've got a check here. Just noting that. Got this. We got this. Take this piece out, then maybe we can get this pawn at some point. What if we do take here? I don't know that it does much. I think we've got to win this pawn. Uh, so if here, what do, what does this knight do? I don't really see what it's doing. I guess it wins the pawn, does it? Maybe. What? Guys, we just lost against this guy. I literally just lost an endgame against them. <sighs> we, we lost an endgame against this guy. <laughs> he, he was good in the endgame. Like, I, I was also running, running low on the old brain cells at that point, but still... That's embarrassing. <laughs> Let's win this pawn. Maybe push this bad boy. This is where an honourable human would resign. Yeah. Alright, let's promote a pawn. Let's put an end to Devon. No mercy. Still angry about that last game, guys. I just recorded this straight after that last one. <laughs> That humiliating defeat. So let's block the king off. Easiest way. And then get this get this little trickery going. So that's how you beat Devon, guys. Uh, what did we do there? To summarize, we... Well, we just stayed solid. Well, no, we didn't stay solid. We actually got in a really tough spot. With the king. But we managed to play just enough moves. So, well, we won this bishop early on. But then they, they won a lot of pawns, so it wasn't clear who was better. This was a strong move from Devon, but then after this, it felt like we were consolidating. Especially after the, the Queen trade, we just... Yeah, and then Devon just blundered. So, 1600s guys, they still blunder. Just try and stay solid. I know we didn't, but try and stay as solid as you can and wait for the blunders and they will come. We just got a free... Knight and then a, a free rook, which is very odd. Maybe Devon adapted to be uh, more more on our standard after last game. Being an adaptive bot, but uh, yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.